Welcome to 719 FPV. I am Nick Roberts and I am back at the Firefighter Memorial and I am gonna do a penetration test for the VTXs and I'm gonna see if there's much of a difference when I upgraded my linear antenna up to the right hand polarized antenna. To do that, uh, if you've seen in a previous video where I fly around this place, there are rings of these granite walls. Um, they are about six inches thick. Um, let me see. So with my hand, anyway, so they are solid granite and they are eight, one, two, three, four. So it's four rings. So if I go from one side to the other, that'll be a total of um, eight concrete walls with, let's see, the memorial in the center. So if I go super low, I can get all the way through the walls, through the memorial, through the walls on the other side. I should be able to get a good comparison to see how better the video quality is. So let's get to it. I'm gonna kind of show you where I'm gonna be going from. So right there you can see the top of the fourth, third, well, one, two, three, four walls. And then there's this. Directly behind me there's another one, two, three, four. So if I can get all four directly in a line, that'll put this big metal statue right in the center, as well as this I don't know, maybe 30 foot diameter concrete centerpiece in the middle. And we'll see see how much breakup I get.
So it is the next day and I'm back at the house editing the video and I realized I didn't really do a conclusion or an outro for this video. And I just wanted to say I really wasn't expecting to see much of a difference between going right hand circular polarized versus the original linear. And boy was I wrong. There was a massive difference. Um, I'm not sure if it was solely because of the antennas or if it was the better um, receiving module in the goggles, but massive difference. Um, one thing that really surprised me was how bad the video was when I had the circular polarized um, antenna on the VTX on the TinyGo and I was looking through the box goggles that still had the linear antennas. Um, as soon as I went behind that second wall, I lost all video. Um, not even, not even snow. It was just, it was gone. Um, but you should be able to see some of that in the video. I put that in there. Um, so big thing, big takeaway is if you do upgrade your antennas, make sure you upgrade your VTX as well as your goggle antennas. Otherwise you'll be worse off than if you just stuck with all linear antennas. Um, uh, but right here, I will do a quick little recap. I will show probably, I'll show the last little bits where I go around that last wall around to the back side of all three shots um so i'll do all linear antennas first then i'll go immediately to the all right hand circular circular polarized antennas and then i'll show you what it looks like with right hand circular on your vtx with linear on your goggles and you'll see how bad it is um but yeah, so I'll stick that right at the end of this video, and thanks for sticking to the end, and I hope you enjoyed the video, I hope it was informative for you, and keep letting me know what you want to see in the comments, because those are the best ideas. Anyway, I love you all, and I hope you guys keep flying and stay safe out there. Um, but yeah, I will see you on the next one. Bye!